So we are here at the airport in Columbus, Ohio, on our way home. We've got to go to New York first and then back to London, which I cannot wait for. Been away for a fair few weeks and oh, 10 days actually, but it feels like a fair few weeks. But yeah, I want to get back to the kids and uh, back to training and back to my normality because this weekend has really shown that there's a massive target on my back. Um, the standard up there was unbelievable on stage, but even just being in the expo, seeing everybody come up to me and say they're gunning for me um, in a nice way uh, has just made me realise that I do need to book my ideas up and get back to work. But um, that being said, I just wanted to start, have a little chat about what's just happened this weekend. I really wanted to be here in person because of the rule change. Um, obviously, I haven't been to the Arnolds for over seven years since I won it back in 2017, uh, but I felt like it was important to be here for Transcend as well, because I've just joined uh, Transcend team, uh, so I wanted to represent them. But at the same time, I wanted to see what the new rules were going to look like and how it's displayed on stage and if it's going to make a difference. Um, and I think it has, to be honest, massively. So everybody was asking me what they thought before they went on stage, who was going to win and, and where people were going to place. So my take on it was obviously Emmanuel Hunter had the most uh, hype going into it because of obviously placing fourth at the Olympia, the highest ranked men's physique going into it. Um, we also had Kyron Holden, who has phenomenal genetics, beat the Mr. Olympia before um, the Olympia took place last year um, and he's always placing very high um, so I was excited to see him I'd seen that he'd listened to the rules he was eight pounds over his stage weight uh, at the Olympia and I wanted to see how he was going to look how, because he's came down from it I know he's lost weight and you could see he'd lost muscle tissue going into it and that's not in a bad way he's done as what they've asked um, and he looked great I was just nervous to see how he would look uh, smaller and if he was going to be able to fill up enough um, in order to look full on stage. Um, and then obviously there's Diogo Montenegro, who's placed third, second there. He's done his dues at the Arnold. Um, he's got great structure um, to his physique. He's got a tiny waist, big egg shape, uh, decent legs. Um, and obviously he hits the weight class quite easily. So those were my front runners. And it was interesting to see obviously what was going to happen. Um, Diogo obviously won and uh, well deserved. We were we were like fourth from the front row, so I had a very good um, view of what was going on. And he brought his best package today. His back looked incredible, full, dry. Um, his midsection, um, his waist was tiny, um, and yeah, he looked great. So well deserved to Diogo. The one thing I will say, I was shocked with Chiron Holden uh, because. It, I feel like Kyron has a phenomenal physique, like phenomenal, and the way his stage presence is, is great. He was on the big side and he was getting too big because uh, he was trying to get into classic last year. So he'd obviously put a lot of muscle tissue on and you could see that. Um, and yeah, he placed fourth, which is not a bad place in at the Arnold, um, which yeah, you can't complain at fourth in the Arnold. But at the same time, I feel like he, he could have place better on a different day I don't know um, but again these are the new rules uh, he's obviously not fitting the new rules in some way so it'd be interesting to see if he gets any feedback from the judges and what they think um, I'd be interested to know uh, like why it is he wasn't like fighting for that top two plays um, it'd be interesting to see their uh, their their plans um, but yeah just to recap on the open class as well I thought that was uh, Great to watch, phenomenal to watch in fact. Uh, Hadi Chupan deserved the win. I'm a massive fan of Samson and what he's doing for UK bodybuilding is awesome. And, and the stage presence he has and his posing and how he commands respect from the audience and the judges is phenomenal to watch. Uh, I was just in awe of him. But at the same time, Hadi brought his all-time best. He was rock hard, shredded to the bone. And um, you could see every fibre and every muscle part. So I, uh, I do think he deserved the win. Samson was very close. It's very hard to judge as well against those two because you've got a very tall Samson with a very short uh, Hadi who's compact, full, and he hasn't really got any weaknesses. And the same for, for Samson. He has very strong 
um, genetics all around. He has a great shape, great muscle fullness, and he carries a lot of muscle. Um, it's just like I say, who turns up on the day and who's better. It could have gone either way, but um, yeah, congrats to Haddy and congrats to Samson as well, who did phenomenal. Wanted to give a shout out to James Hollingshead as well. You might not see this, but again, he's representing the UK over here. Um, I've known James since he was a junior, and he is the most dedicated, hard-working bodybuilder you'll ever meet. Um, and the, the progress he's, he's made in the last few years or over the years is just phenomenal. And that doesn't want to go unrecognised. So big shout out to him. He placed fifth at the Arnold's, which is unbelievable. It's phenomenal, and he should be very proud of himself. So. I do feel like the UK talent is being seen over here now um, and we are starting to, to make a name for ourselves over here. So uh, yeah, watch this space. 2024 is going to be an interesting season. Um, made me want to get back on stage, I'm not going to lie. Um, seeing it up there, I was like itchy to get up. Um, my 12 weeks, 13 weeks since Olympia has not been great. Um, I've had a lot of focus on business and um, a lot of stresses in my life, um, something we might talk about on a different video, but it has been a very, very, very hard few months. Um, but yeah, we'll save that for another video, but I'm not making any excuses. Um, I needed to come out here, not only for to see how the, the division was gonna look this year, but for myself as well, to, to reset, to get that passion back, that, that motivation back, because I achieved my career highlight that the one thing 21 years of training and the one thing I've worked towards the nine attempts on the Olympia the thing what got me up every morning driving me as a person as an individual as a competitor I then achieved it so it has been quite hard to pick myself back up after after winning that to, to get going again but this weekend has, has definitely definitely uh, helped that so yeah looking forward to getting back I just wanted to do, like I say, a bit of a recap. It was also amazing to uh, train with Jeremy Wendy. I've just released a video previously to this. Um, and although you just saw us chatting and talking, it was a very busy gym pro gym. It's always good to, to get amongst and train with like-minded people like you. He's four times Mr. Olympia champion, so I have huge respect for him. Um, and it was interesting to see what his plans are as well because he retired, obviously came back last year um, and that must have been hard. Like to, I've thought about retirement a few times and I'm just not quite ready yet. Whereas obviously Jeremy retired a bit early, a bit too young and I feel like there's so much more we can see in Jeremy. So it'll be interesting to see his plans. Um, he's on a bulk phase at the minute, which, <laughs> which I don't think he should be because he, um, he was a little bit over his weight, shall we say, at the, uh, the Olympia, but Jeremy's a professional at what he does. He will come in on point, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he does. So um, I'm going to stop blabbering on. I'm going to go and get a coffee because Ash is actually falling asleep with this video. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling it a little bit. Uh, but anyway, we'll see you in the next video. I think the next one might be Tristan Lee collaboration or Chris Bumstead collaboration. We will see. And then uh, back to reality, back to getting home and hitting those workouts, getting those meals in and uh, improving this physique. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.